All right, guys, we are doing our preview and prediction video in a little different location. We've got Madison here, yes. her first trip to Notre Dame. Yes. Davis here, his first trip to Notre Dame. My first football trip to Notre Dame, so we're all excited about what we're going to see. Uh, get to play in this historical stadium behind us. Uh, we're going to see in a minute how much uh, Notre Dame gear Madison's going to buy over here in the, the stadium I shop. I'm excited about that. Yeah, I want to look at it too. We'll see. <laughs> all right, um, we're going to do our keys to the game first. Madison, we're going to start with the ladies first, so you get to go first. What's your key to the game Saturday night? Well, when it comes to the key to the game, I'm definitely going to have to say it's going to be both of the teams running game. For sure, Clemson, Will Shipley's going to have to have a big day on the field, especially after the Syracuse game. We're going to have to come out really hot when it comes to the rushing game. And also, hopefully, DJ can come out with some confidence after the Syracuse game. And maybe that week off gave him a good time to mentally re refresh and the Clemson offense come out with a strong and confident start. All right. Uh, thank you. She, she got to go first, so she got to choose the run. Yeah. Davis, you got to go mix it up and go somewhere <laughs> else. What's the, some of the keys you're looking for? Okay, well, I'm going to come back to that then because that's definitely one of my keys too. But um, first, better quarterback play. You know, I mean, that's simple as that. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm not saying Cade Klubnick couldn't go in there and, and win him a game on Saturday, but I think the odds of that would be slim to none. I mean, I, I think DJ slim to none. Yes, I think DJ, I think DJ's their best. No chance. respect for none. I would. Uh, I think DJ's their best chance to, to, to win their, this game. And, and he's got to play better and, and sort of piggybacking off that is quit turning the ball over. I mean, you know, he accounted for three of their four turnovers. Um, you know, last – or I say last week, but I guess their last game two weeks ago since they had a bye. That was only the third time in Dabo Sweeney era that they've won a game finishing minus three or worse than the turnover margin. They do that again Saturday night. I, don't, I think it will be a different outcome. So that's my first key. And then piggybacking off what Madison said, Notre Dame – that's their bread and butter, their ground game. They're playing a backup quarterback. They try to take all the pressure off of him. Three-man rotation. Notre Dame has rushed for 100, 150 yards or less in three games. Those have been their three losses this year. Tells you pretty much all you need to know. So, All right. Well, y'all didn't leave me with a whole lot. Um, I think there's more than slim chance if K does have to play that they'll get the job done. One of the reasons is I have been told that he has gotten significantly more snaps in the last – two weeks during the bye week to get him prepared. I think that's probably one of the things the staff wish they had done more of earlier in the year so that we had a little more confidence and Kate had more confidence. I'm going to go with the Avengers. Uh, I think this is a game where the Clemson defensive line starting to get all those pieces healthy. We've heard some talk about Xavier and Brian maybe playing their best here in November. So I think they're going to be a huge – Part of this game, they're going to try to step up. NBC, national television, night game. You know, they kind of want to make a statement. Perfect chance for them to do that uh, Saturday night here in front of a hostile crowd. Although we will say it may not be completely hostile because there is a lot of orange. We're seeing a lot of orange walk around right now. Um, all right, so now we're going to break off and go out on that limb and give our score predictions. Madison, again, ladies first. We're going to let you go first. I don't know if there's a rhyme or reason to the score prediction, but I'm feeling like Clemson's going to come out on top 28-14. I think they might come out to a little bit of a slow start, but I think they're going to race ahead before halftime, and then they're going to secure it in the third quarter. Okay, race ahead. Robert's feeling better at the halftime. <laughs> Davis, how about you? So I, I think Notre Dame's defense is good enough, particularly at home, to keep this game close, particularly if, again, you know, Madison made a good point. I do think you know they need to Clemson speaking of they needs to needs to run the ball well and, and sort of build off what they've done the last two weeks because this passing game for Clemson has been iffy. I mean it, it's dropped off a little bit the last three or four games. So you know if, if they're not able to you know run the ball consistently, I think they could I think Notre Dame can really give them some trouble defensively. But in the end, I think it's one of the better matchups for Clemson just in terms of this uh, Notre Dame offense against Clemson's defense because I, 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 while I, I think Notre Dame will have some success running the ball because that's just what they do, they're not going to go crazy against Clemson. I think Clemson's defense, their, their front seven's too good, and I don't think this passing game is, is good enough to to make some plays that you need to make uh, through the air for them to win, win the game. Um, Notre Dame's 106 nationally in passing offense. It's just th this isn't the offense to exploit. What's the biggest weakness Clemson has defensively, and that's that secondary and their and their coverage on the back end. So. Um, I think it'll be close. I think Clemson will win this one 26 to 17. You guys are pretty close there. 28 14, really 26 17. Okay. 
I'm not going way out on the limb like I did against Syracuse. We're not going to talk about what my prediction was last week. But I finally gained enough confidence to kind of go back to a old school prediction last game, and it bit me. It bit me bad. Um, I think you guys are in the right ballpark. I think it's probably going to be a game that's close in the first half, maybe close at the halftime. I think, you know, Clemson's just – they're the better team. As Davis said earlier, if they turn the ball over, they're going to be in big trouble. If they don't turn the ball over, then their skills should, should win out in the end. I'm going to go a little bit higher than you guys. I'm going to go Clemson 31, and I'm going to go – Notre Dame 10. I really think the Clemson defense is going to come and play some ball. Um, but, you know, who knows? Huge game. A lot on the line. Uh, by the time the Tigers hit the field here Saturday night, they could already be Atlantic Division champs, depending on what happens at the 330 Syracuse game. So this game has nothing to do with making it to Charlotte, but it's got everything to do with making it to Atlanta or Arizona and making the college football playoff. So Tigers need to take care of business the rest of the way. We're going to have a lot of coverage for you guys here from South Bend this weekend, so stay tuned to the Clemson Insider for the most complete coverage of Clemson football.